Emerson. Stefan from Manitoba. I have Boeing. Um, I have two units going to Headingley, Manitoba. Okay. Um, that's all I have for people like for going to the same place. Okay. Anything for Saskatchewan? Uh, oh, I think that, yep, I do. Let's take a look. Okay, for Saskatchewan, I have a Saskatoon. How big is that one? Does it... Um, I have one that is 34 feet, 7,324. Or I have one that is 40 feet, it's a solitude fifth wheel. 11,629. Okay, what about the two to Headingley? Uh, what, what sizes and what trailers are th those? So one is a 32 foot Springdale, 5,160. The other one is a Bullet Crossfire, 32 feet. Um, that one's 2,483 kilograms. Okay, I guess the two to Headingley would, would work. Emerson. Emerson? Okay, and you said Tuesday or Wednesday pickup? On this load, I want to talk a little more about uh, how things has to be done in the yard uh, and also a little more about paperwork. I'll start to do everything, I'll try to do everything as good as I can, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah. I'll show you guys like how things have to be done with the paperwork and stuff like that. So yeah, stay tuned for that. We're at the border right now. Let's hope we get through quick and then uh, off we go. Border crossing was pretty easy. We decided to go somewhere behind Fargo today to pass a uh, scale there and then uh, sleep for the night and then just continue driving tomorrow all right guys we're in Fargo right now gonna fill up here and then uh, go somewhere behind Fargo so we pass the scale and then uh, sleep for the night How do you like? just checked my oil gotta do it it's nice if you do it every morning I guess still looking good I need an oil change pretty soon there but so far so good all right guys today for lunch we got Applebee's I'll show you here in a bit what I got in here then we will quickly eat and then we'll be on our way. That's what we're having for lunch today. Mac and cheese or whatever they call it. Chicken fingers. And of course fries. Guys, just had lunch and pulling out from Aldi. And saw this beauty. Look at that.
That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful weather here down in the States. Really nice. Almost in Mauston again. In half a mile, take exit 69 toward Gateway Avenue. Yeah, uh, we're gonna go to the truck stop, to the one I'm usually going to, and fill up there because it's usually uh, cheaper there. And then uh, we'll keep going. We still have like take uh, exit 69. Uh, like five five and a half hours to go or so. Yeah. In a quarter mile, keep right at the fork. Follow signs for Mauston. So we're filling up in Mauston right now. Two dollar nineteen, two dollar twenty almost the gallon. Which which is cheap for us Canadians, but it's expensive right now here in the States. It was already a little cheaper than that before. 61 bucks fills the truck. Now we're gonna be putting some more into the tank. Yo guys, we're about to hit Chicago. And after Chicago, it should be, I think it's like two or two and a half hours to go. It's the next morning. We slept here at a gas station about an hour from from our destination. Beautiful day here today. I think it's like 4 degrees out in December, which is not bad at all. All right, we arrived in Middlebury, Indiana. I'm gonna go grab some cash because that's what most drivers do because you get paid uh, US dollars. And um, so w without paying any fees, they just, people just get cash here. And then in Canada, they go to their banks and uh, get it exchanged to Canadian dollars, I guess. So yeah, I'm gonna go grab some cash and then uh, In 600 I'm feet, off to your the yard. destination will be on the left. Then I'm, I'll be going to the yard. My dad already went there, so yeah. All right, grabbed some cash, went outside, and look what I found. That's how they do it. Tie down their horses and go. destination is on the right all right guys we have arrived team RV Express that's the yard you guys have seen it before on my videos and then usually if you come at night time like whenever they're closed that gate right here will be closed to there it's always locked up I'll show you guys 
is locked up with that lock right here and every month the lock combination changes and whenever you get your papers like your email with with your load they will uh, put the code that that is for the month they will put on there so you know if you're coming at night time you can open the gate anytime because you're allowed to pick it up pick up your load anytime you want to so yeah that's how it works and then right there is the office where you go in to grab your papers i'll show you guys here in a bit okay you will always get a package like this when you pick up your load and then if you come for your next load so this is from my old load right now i'll put my log books in here too and then uh, whatever i pay at the border i put in there too and all your expenses like a uh, trailer wash or whatever you put in there so they can um, return you that money and uh, yeah i'll put my log books in here right away and then we'll go inside and um, you put this thing somewhere there i'll show you and then you pick up your other one from a bin from a bin in there so i'll show you in a bit here so that's the box where you pick up your paperwork all right guys i grabbed my new papers but i'm not sure if they want me to videotape too much inside so that's the information the unit information so first thing i'm looking for is the brand which is springdale and that's how i find my trailer and then i'll double check um, with the unit number and then uh, i also double check with the vin number on the unit and I do that like three times just in case so it's actually the right one so you're not going all the way to Canada with the wrong unit yeah and um, looking at that and trying to find mine right here from all the thousands that they got here let's see if I can find mine quick look at that Ah, maybe not thousands, but hundreds for sure. All right, I think I found mine. You guys see that? 106225. And right here it says Springdale. So now on the papers. You see 106225 and right here Springdale. Now we gotta check the um, the VIN number to make sure and then hook up and go. Before you're about to hook up, you have to do a, a walk through and look for major scratches or uh, anything broken on the trailer because that's I guess that's your responsibility kind of to leave it here if something is wrong these things they usually fall off pretty quick so you make sure they're in tight see that's what I'm talking about so jam it in there okay looking good so far Make sure all those things are closed. Yeah, looking good so far. See, door is open. Always make sure it's properly closed. And then some people drive around like this, but I usually put it to the door side, so just in case if it opens, so it cannot go open up too much all right yeah everything else looks looks good i guess okay and also forgot you have to hook up the battery so you can get the trailer up to hook it on and also for the 
lights and stuff I believe so I already hooked up the battery you have to have a cover for it in case it rains or whatever yeah so yeah I'm gonna hook it up and then and then I'm gonna put the license plate in the back because you cannot forget that Okay, everything is on, by the looks of it anyways, and now I'm pulling ahead, because my dad's right over there to hook his on, and then we, we can leave pretty much. Alright, checking if the signal works. working perfectly fine so I'm gonna put the plates on and let's go plates on right there kissed way I guess with this plates are on let's go What's up? Oh yeah. They put them so close, so yeah, it's pretty. Go! Go, go, go! Yeah! Yeah, look how close they put them, so you gotta be careful. Like barely any space to walk through. So these two units, my dad's and mine, they both go to Headingley, to the same one, to the same dealer that I dropped off my first one. And we are here, we have arrived. Classic trailers. Same dealer as I brought my first one. Yeah. All right, they checked the trailer, then asked me to park it right here. They have a drop-off zone here. And uh, yeah, I'm hooking right now. <laughs> 